Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. And PC Outcast. And we're still alive, even though we have to go and visit death. Oddly enough, it's been a while since we've been able to play together. We finally found some time. Hooray! Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, so sorry, you guys. Thank you to all of you who are still staying with this series, because... <laughs> It's one taking day. forever, but one, one day, day we'll finish it. And one day we'll meet like the two other characters. We were just talking about how we're, we're still on chapter two, <laughs> and we've only met two of the four characters that you can play. But that's fine, because, you know, we'll we'll get there one day. I feel like we've been Wilbur for the entire the entire game. Pretty yeah, much. I, I don't even remember what the elf girl's name is anymore. She got like a single episode. You know, Are back we, back you know, in season three. No, remember we rode the dragon with the guy who's always crying to his mom. I don't remember his name. No. And uh, I know mom mom a uh, mom is involved. And then there was a Mortimer that we went to go visit as the elf lady. And then she found remember she found that artifact thingy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right. And that was like the last thing we saw right. with her. And then. Then we've been Wilbur ever since. We've been Wilbur ever since. Oh my goodness. Ugh, let's hope. I mean, this has been a long, there's been a lot of back and forth and a lot of different things he's got to yeah. he's got to do to get into the uh, into the town. I think once we get to the, into the town, we'll probably switch to somebody. Let's hope so. I think. Anyway, okay. So, ra got to catch a rabbit, got to go get a hat. So, All which order do you want to do it? All right. Uh, how do I get our map? Back to the map. Oh, there we go. Um, I guess we go back here and uh, go get. Oh no, I want to be outside. Yeah, I guess we should have just left Willie's camp, but oh well. Yeah, apparently. Uh, where's the outside? <laughs> where's the outside place? The outside okay, door. there's okay, so we... Can I just take it then? Is it just gonna let me take it? Come here, little one. I'm not gonna hurt you. I only need your help for a few minutes. Not a chance. I never catch it that way. I'll have to think of something else. Well, that was worth a try. Okay, so what do we have? We've got the one ring. Maybe we can use that to enchant him. Oh, right. We still have that thing that we need to write. A magic wand, a rope, an elixir, fireworks. Oh, a carrot. I mean, yeah, we can try the carrot and see if... Yeah. Well, Fluffy Bunny, how are things? How about a luscious carrot for a change? The rabbit's clearly keen on the carrot, but it still isn't coming close enough for me to grab it. We I'll have to think of something else. We have to build some kind of trap, but I don't. I... It's got it's got something to do with that tree. Yeah. I don't really know what kind of tree it is, but it looks very slender and flexible. Uh, attach the. Should I use the rope. Yeah, maybe use the rope. And then, am I supposed to go rabbit fishing? Uh, you could try yes. it. Yes, uh, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. How about the rope with the tree? Can I drop it? How do I drop it? There you go. Yeah. Not Ryan, that told me about these. <laughs> what? Ropes and trees? Yeah, hey, you gonna make a nice little loopy loop? The treetop is jammed under a rock. A slight tug on the rope, and the noose will tighten in a flash. That's uh, the plan, anyway. As long as it's around the rabbit's foot and not the rabbit's head. Okay, and then we put the carrot on the thing. Uh, oh, we can... Lay carrot as a snare. Yeah. That should work. All right. I'm just going to walk away, because you totally didn't see me do that. Don't choke yourself, please, Mr. Bunny. Nosh, 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 nosh. Oh! 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 Oh no. my goodness. Breathe. Thank the <laughs> gods, it was only knocked out. <laughs> and you put it in your pocket. <laughs> Look at its face. That's the face of a rabbit that has like seen all 15 lives flash before its eyes. Wow. Can we can we just like examine the rabbit? Uh, oh, that's not right. No. How do we just look at it? Uh, is it right click? Can we? The little guy yeah. is right back on form. He's happily nibbling away on his carrot. <sighs> oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. Can I can't uh, get my 
Robert. I guess I don't need it. Well, the noose didn't tighten fast enough. That's why the poor rabbit was launched through the air like that. <laughs> Which once again goes to show you should never use technology you don't understand. <laughs> right. Right. Okay, so, so death. So to death. Well, yeah. There you go. Uh, I was like, is that? Is it actually working? <laughs> testing, testing. That's a long walk. Move it, Wilbur. Run, run. Okay, hat. A top hat. Unfortunately, I can't reach it. Can we ask our Scully buddy? Hello, Death. <laughs> Hello. Um. I have to die. Well, before that, we have the top hat. What's that top hat there on the shelf? That thing up there on the shelf. That's a top hat, isn't it? Aren't you a clever one? Well. I am a gnome of the world. Ha <laughs> ha. It belonged to my father. He always wore it. He was a grave digger. You mean your father wasn't deaf? No, I was the first one in the family to go to university. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Isn't that, that's his dad right there. Yeah. In, who was also a, top hat. who was also a skeleton. I, I guess, I don't know. Am I being racist, racist against skeletons? Like, all skeletons are death? I don't know. Yep. Okay, can all I right. borrow it? Would you lend me your top hat for a bit? I'll bring it back to you in top shape. Top shape. You want to repair it? No. Father's top hat stays just how it is. Then would you just lend it to me the way it is? Absolutely not. It's an old family heirloom. Can I, I have to be going? Whoops. Deadly boring, yeah? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. I did ask him if I could borrow it, right? Yeah, you did. So, asking again one. A large stove with a nice fire. At least it sheds a little light and warmth. I can continue A large stove this. with a nice fire. Uh, what do we have in our inventory? Rings, oh, rabbits. Rabbit. Fireworks? Stick the fireworks in there? Can try it. That's exactly what we need to do. Hmm. Oh boy. Is death that easy to cheat? What the fuck? Uh -huh. Sounds like explosions in the stove. And it's all a bit smoky. That's never happened before, and it's a bit suspicious. But I can't take my eyes off the stove. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. A top hat. Unfortunately, I can't reach it. Of course you can. Um, can we write? Uh, well, we can look at him. Nope. Oh. So we had an opportunity. I had an opportunity to look at him. All right, let's try that again. We can write our book in the death. I mean, write our name in the death note. It's true. Is death that easy to cheat? What the? What the? Yeah, let's try doing that. Examine him. Or do I, I, I say just do it. I, you should do it now while he's Look looking. I can't. It's Look like... You have, to, you have to go to your inventory and get the, the ink and no. activate the book. Now I can write anything, anytime. But what? And on what? That. Yeah, you took too long. Next time, just put the quill on the uh, on the book. Uh, are you sure? Because it, it's got that fast forward, the, the cutscene thing. I oh, well, just just humor me. All right. Humor me, please. Otherwise, we gotta go find some stilts to go steal the hat. Is death that easy to cheat? What the? Okay. So. That quill ending. No, no, just the quill on the book. That's the book of the dead. That book contains the names of dates. Are you just dragging it or are you clicking it? I can't I can't you, select it. You those. can't, okay. No. Alright. It's, it's you have to fast forward through this. Through the scene. Darn, I thought that would be the way to do it. Yeah. Um I 
I don't know. Hmm. Is there something, something else that we need? I don't know. I've got no idea. Even Wilbur's like turned around to like guys. Any clues? Death? Do you know? I mean, I assume we just have the same conversation with him again, right? Hello, no. Death. Hello. Uh, yeah, so we can't... I have to be going... I don't know, do we talk to our no. teacher? <laughs> hmm. That's the Book of the Dead. That book contains the names and dates of all those mortals the Grim Reaper is supposed to take. But at the moment, there isn't a single name in the book. I don't know, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, he, he's completely distracted. Yeah. But we, we're not allowed to do anything. So there's something else we have to do. I, I guess there's some other order. Well, there's nothing we can do here, so I guess we have to just leave. I mean, I guess we can talk to this. Oh, not to him. No. I mean, to, uh, what's his name? Yeah. I, I can't remember what our teacher's name is. It's been that long. Right. Marcus. We can always talk to the Rat King. Do you have something that makes us grow by 50 feet so that we can take a hat? Excuse me, Master Teacher? Master Teacher. What is it? Uh, death says that only dead people can become ghosts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and this is just the same stuff, right? Did we? I don't think we did the witch spell I want to cast. Now I know which spell I want to cast. I found an excellent spell. I'm going to conjure a rabbit out of a top hat. I'd prefer something with sheep. But don't let me stop you. Right. You won't believe your eyes. Okay. I'll study a bit I more. I have to study some more. Goodbye, Mr. Teacher. Goodbye, mm. little pupil. Little pupil. We can still interact with the cauldron. What does that mean? My power elixir is safely in the vial, and I don't have to brew any other potions. At least, not right now. Okay. And the desk, stone mortar. I don't think I'll be needing the mortar again. Okay, so that's that's all done. Uh, we can try visiting the Rat King, I guess. Yeah. He's come through for us many a time. Are you gonna take the sandwich over? I found the stag beetle antlers. Thank you. Not a problem. Uncle Juan was happy to give up the antlers once he found out they were for your training. That's and, it? Well, and again. I don't really think he can help me at the moment. I'll just let him get on with uh, doing nothing. Oh, okay. okay. The guard at the top? Hmm. Hello, Mr. Shieldhand. Hello, Mr. Underhill. What do you want? I'm Master Marcus's best student. I'm now one of Master Marcus's official pupils. His best. Great. Come again when you've got your diploma. It won't be long now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. I'm off to get my maid diploma. <laughs> Um, can we talk to the other guy? The Who? guy that Marcus was playing with? He left. Did he leave? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, is the monkey still in the back or is he gone? I can't remember that either. We steal one of his chairs. Oh, he's, okay, gone he's gone. Too. And there's nothing back here. There's nothing here though. So either we have to go back to the Willy Wilbur, whatever his name is. Yeah. And then after that, we just have to go back to death and figure out what we're not clicking. Right. Hmm. Death won't let me borrow his hat. What do I do? Hello. Wilbur, what can I do for you? 
I've got a rabbit. I got a rabbit. Look, here's the rabbit for the spell. And a white one at that. That's perfect. Now we just need the top hat. On my way. Ugh. Um, what's still missing for the spell? What spell were you going to teach me again? A really spectacular trick with a rabbit and a top hat. Bring both of those things to me, and I'll show it to you. All right. Hmm. I'll just be going. So we have to do something while we're I there. I have seen that you are mm -hmm. going to come back. See you then. Uh-huh. Okay. I mean, we can do the fireworks and look at death, I guess. We haven't tried that yet. It's still got the for the fast forward thing, so I don't think we can actually do anything. We can can't interact with anything. I mean, we interacted with the book while he was looking. Like we looked at the book while he was looking in the thing. So that's true. There's also the power elixir. What if we can we combine them? <laughs> no. Okay, let's try to examine him while he's looking at this. Thank goodness we have these magical fireworks that keep coming is back that after they explode. Easy to cheat? Yeah. What the? There's a suspicious. I should have a good look. So, death is distracted. Yeah. And then? Can I now interact with That's this? That's the book of the dead. That book. <sighs> I can look at it, but I can't use anything on it. <sighs> I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay. And I don't know, we could drink the power elixir. Is death that easy to cheat? What the? I can't, I'm just, it won't allow me to, oh, oh. There, I knew it, yay. Where's the weather been? White Ridge Mountains, date of death, right now. Sweet. Incredible, I cheated death. <laughs> don't look so happy. I don't know why the wood should be. <laughs> look at this grin. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. Although it wasn't as difficult as the old saying would have us believe. Right. Now. So now we say, um, excuse me, can you kill me, please? Hello, Death. Hello. My uh, name is in the Book of the Dead. Guess what? <laughs> I had another look at the Book of the Dead, and and my name is there. It's it's my time to die. But really. <laughs> That's wonderful. Someone has finally understood the violence oh, cell. Awesome. Fare thee well, water. What? Oh. Oh. So the size was just for show? Good. The hat's not here. Oh. So this is what it feels like to be dead. It's rather like Aunt Ethel's raspberry trifle. <laughs> <laughs> oh? That is so rude. Well, look at the recently dead gnome. That's not us. I don't look like a very happy corpse. But then again, my death wasn't exactly one you'd call a natural death either. Look, you got petrified, man. I've been murdered by myself. Ordered and delivered. Everything according to plan. As long as I get resurrected, that is. Did he think that part through? I don't look like a very happy corpse. Mm. I've been murdered. We can talk to death. Hmm. He's having Better a cigarette? Not. He might do something to me when he finds out that I tricked him. We'll I probably need his help. First. Later. Give me amulet first. Okay. All right, out we go. I... Uh-oh. What? I can't access my inventory. We're dead. All our stuff's on our bot, our actual body. Oh. I hope I, I don't scare people. I can't teleport. <laughs> I'm gonna head directly to the mage school. To the mage school. And then I just step through here, I guess. Well, that's all I can do. Yeah, we could scare our teacher, but better not. Right oh. then. Let's do it. Missed opportunity. Plus, you don't know what we did. 
hours later. Oh, we didn't actually have to go through there. I thought we were gonna have to go on a fantastic world full of just incredible creatures over there. And it's so hard to believe how I got the amulet. It's but a shame we that all the gods can pass through the moon. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Now I just need to see about coming back to life. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> now I feel cheated. Uh, talk to Master Marcus? I guess. Look, Master Marcus, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead, Jim. Master Marcus, hello. <laughs> hmm. Looks like he can't see or hear me. Hmm. Strange. Yeah. I can't believe I fell into that trap. I thought we were going to have a great adventure. Nope. All right. Hmm. No idea how I'm gonna get back in there. I'd better ask Death. Well, yeah. Like, hmm. This can't be that difficult. Hey, Mr. Death, look who's back. What the? Oh no! You're <laughs> a ghost. <laughs> oh, of course I am. That's becoming very trendy. People these days <laughs> just can't let go. What do you want? Um. I'm not properly dead. This is a real mess up. Take me back. We're gonna have to admit it, aren't we? Live. I just want to live for heaven's sake. <laughs> well, er, I've done a bit of editing in the book of the dead. Well, this could all be a terrible mistake. A mistake? You are dead, aren't you? Not undead or the like as a donor but maybe i wasn't supposed to die yet of course you were it's in the book of the dead but i'm the one who wrote my name in the book of the dead oh. Oh. <laughs> the blink oh? oh damn it was just too good to be true do you have any idea what this means <laughs> Whole load of paperwork. A power shake up. You're gonna revive me right away. <laughs> paperwork. Uh, lot of paperwork. No, that means I have changed the course of things. I've hugely overstepped my authority. They'll skin me at the next audit. It's not going to escape the internal auditor's attention that an unregistered ghost is floating around the place. How can they skin a skeleton? I believe what mm. they did to the norms when they fiddled the books. What if you bring me back to life and we tear the page out of the Book of the Dead and never tell anyone about this little episode? That... that might be an option. And you wouldn't really mind having to live again. Well, oh, I just have to tough it out. Twist my arm. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Come on then, lie back into your body. Get into the position. Man, uh, well wow. done. Perfect. Hold it. <gasps> oh my! Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't fulfill your desire to die. Well, don't worry, it was an interesting experience. And I'll just rip that out. I still have the amulet. Master Marcus will be so amazed. Well, that was lucky. And about the top hat. Oops. <laughs> to make it up for killing oh, okay. us accidentally, how about yeah. your hat? Uh, oh, seriously? You could do the top one. Sorry if my death might cause you some trouble. I didn't think my death would have any serious consequences. I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have killed you. It's just I've waited for this for so long, and it really is quite good fun. Maybe, maybe you should look for another job. Yes, death is not such a dependable business as people think. But what could I do? Find yourself a hobby. Look for another profession. You could do something athletic. <laughs> what do you want to recommend to our friend? Uh, look into another profession. I mean, you're not going to uh, make, well, you're probably not going to be a great athlete and you're not going to make much money as a ho doing hobbies, so. How about another profession? <clears throat> Your own business? Mm, I've thought about that too. Becoming my own boss, making my own decisions. 
Exactly. I'm sure there's lots of things you could do. Hmm, what do you suggest? <laughs> you got a model's figure, maybe you should consider the fashion business. <laughs> maybe you could become a contract killer. You could earn yourself some cash standing in the corner of a biology class. Well, that's very true. <laughs> you should totally become a model. <laughs> I could imagine you being in demand as a model. You have that emaciated look. <laughs> I only have this one cloak, and I don't know a thing about fashion. I only know about death. Hmm. Well, contract killer? You, you yeah. enjoyed killing me. He knows so. more about killing than you do. So maybe you could work as a hitman, a uh, skeleton. <laughs> Sometimes I have the feeling you don't listen to me. You can't die here. Should yeah. I just bury the people alive? I... Wait a minute. That's it. What? Live burials. What? Huh? I'll become a grave digger, like my father. I'll offer to bury people alive for a small fee. So who's <laughs> going to be interested in that? That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. <laughs> who, who wants to be buried alive? There are plenty of people who do. Young people humiliated by their friends. Oh, boy. Old stars who don't want to be in the public eye anymore. Rich husbands. But what would rich husbands get out of being buried alive? Nothing at all. But there's certainly something in it for the future widow. Who pays the bills is incidental. I come from a long line of gnomes, and we gnomes are known to have the occasional truly strange idea. But never. Not once in my entire life have I heard such a... Don't say a word. You can be my partner. There's lots to do. We've got to order some coffins and do some publicity. Well, you want me to be your business partner? Certainly. There's lots to do. And after all, it was your idea that I should find myself a new job. Well, I'm honoured, but... First of all, you'll have to raise some venture capital. You'll have to convince oh, someone Willy. with a lot of gold that our business idea has a future. It does? <laughs> it I does? Do trials in the meantime. Trials? <laughs> you can't sell a service like this without trying it out yourself. Death and gnome live burials. <laughs> oh my it. goodness. Offers only the highest quality, complete with 100% guarantee. Write that down. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Live burials. Um, about the top hat. <laughs> Do we have to talk oh, yeah. to Lily first? Hello, partner. I was just thinking about doing coffins with our logo. What do you want to discuss? Uh, how are things looking with the business idea? About your idea with the live burials. Don't be so modest. It's our idea. <laughs> Weren't you going to raise some venture capital? We literally uh, have to do this. Uh, mm. Right. I want to start with the trials. It's the only way we're going to get wow. that ad is in the Okay. Let's go. We'll do some more work. Yes. Well, we're going to learn how to do a magic trick. And. Before we do, can we just look at our amulet that we got? That's the magic amulet from the ghost mirror. It, it looks so ordinary. I hope it really does have powerful magical abilities. Hmm. I should show it to Master Marcus. Hmm. Right, so we got that to do too. Right. Should we do, maybe we'll do that first. Okay. Can do. Master Teacher. Excuse me, Master Teacher. What is it? I have the amulet of Balas Balthazar. <laughs> I was going to say Balastar. Balastar. Is that? Yep, the amulet of Balthazar the Brittle. Oh, how did you get your hands on that? I went through the mirror, and after incredibly exciting, meaningless, and challenging quests <laughs> in the netherworld, work. I managed to get the amulet. I just can't believe it. A little gnome. How is that possible? 
Everything is possible, remember? <laughs> oh. I almost believe that too. <laughs> if someone had told me that a gnome without mage history in the family would pass two mage degree exams in such a short amount of time, I wouldn't have believed it. There's a lot more to you than meets the eye, Wilbur. Thank you. And I'm going to pass the last test too. I still don't believe it, but I'd be happy to be proved wrong. How, you, you just said that you could believe anything at this point, and then you don't believe that. No. Nope. I have to study some more. Goodbye, Mr. Teacher. Goodbye, little pupil. Honestly. Oi, oi, oi. oi. <laughs> Alright. Can I get some more gold? Good thing this guy is so, such a rich ripoff artist. Yeah. Hello. Wilbur. What can I do for you? I need more money. Uh, oh, really? We can't even talk to him about the... It's, oh, because we don't have the thing right. It's in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I, was, I was like, oh, we can't talk to him about the um, the spell. Oh, well, like, yeah. We don't have a top we hat. We need the yet. hat. <laughs> what a business idea. I'm, I'm supposed to ask you if you want in on a new business proposition. I've always got a spare ear for that. Tell me about it. Death wants to offer live burials. What are live burials? You bury people, living people. That's complete nonsense. I know. <laughs> How much capital does he need? <laughs> I thought you said the idea was ridiculous. That doesn't mean there isn't any money in it. Think about it. <sighs> Death abandons his previous business model and strives aggressively into new markets. <laughs> And I, as the widely recognized expert of the future, see excellent prospects for success. But who would want to be buried alive? No one. But that's <laughs> not important. We'll get the money directly from the capital markets. Investors will be queuing up. Um, okay. okay. So I can tell Death you'll provide him with financial backing. Of course. I'll come over this afternoon and discuss it all with him. In the meantime, I'll start feeding the rumor mill. Rumor. Okay, then. Rumors. Wow. Why are you doing this? I don't get it. Why give death money when he'll never earn a single gold piece with his live burial? That's not the point. We'll sell the story. The vision. But sooner or later, people will realize what a stupid idea that is. Naturally, but that'll take time. First, we need a glossy prospectus with pretty coffins and some joint ventures that create media attention. Sign up some celebs to give testimonials. Then the operational losses won't trouble us so much. We spend loads of gold and more and more fortune tellers will predict a good future for our company. Why should they? Because the shares they have in the company will then rise. And they'll not only make a profit, but also prove that they were right. I didn't understand anything. <laughs> I'm with Wilbur. That's good. If everyone understood, who could I sell my fortune telling to? That, he's basically describing the stock market. <laughs> that is exactly how the stock market works. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, it's a big scam. I have seen that you are going to come back. See you then. Aren't we right. going to see you over there? Oh. Yeah. In the next episode. Okay. Bye, everybody. We'll see ya.